Welcome to the Cemetery Road. This episode's just a little bit different because in the location that we're going to be looking at in this episode, I was unable to do any kind of uh, chit chat or talking about how I felt about the location because it was ridiculously windy that day. It may not look at too much in the footage, but on the audio quality of what I was trying to say, it was just too much because we are in the Mount Moriah Cemetery in South Dakota, Deadwood. Deadwood, South Dakota, famous old west town and of course when you have an old west town you want to go check out the cemetery this cemetery is uh notable for a couple of reasons uh two of those reasons being wild bill hickok and calamity jane uh old west famous figures uh this is where they are interred uh it, it sits on top of a hill right out uh kind of on the outskirts of uh deadwood which is the reason why the wind was hitting me so hard but also to get up to the cemetery i am telling you it is a steep incline and if i was driving my van i probably would not have made it but i was in the truck so i went up there and i checked it out here's what we saw Another reason I wasn't able to kind of do a whole lot of chit chat during the episode while I was there, while I was filming, is because it is a tourist attraction. Um, there's nice paved roads. The place is kept in immaculate condition. And because it's a tourist attraction, they have tours in Deadwood that people can uh, purchase tickets for. They jump on a little bus, they go up to Mount Moriah. The bus tours them around, tells them about the history of Mount Moriah and all of that kind of thing. And that's cool and all, but it's a little difficult to shoot an episode where I'm wandering around chit-chatting with you like this with tour buses driving by with little speakers. Oh, on your left, you're gonna see the grave. Oh, sorry. It's a little weird. So even when the wind wasn't kind of blasting my audio, uh, I had a, you know, a lot of people watching me. So I just decided to keep it a little bit low key.
hopefully the wind isn't too bad that you can't hear me. But I'm standing next to the sign that says North Potter's Field. But one thing I did notice is that there is one stone here and then all the way down this way, stretching down the hill. There's no stones, but there are big depressions in the earth, which means there are burials there, burials that have collapsed underneath the soil and have slumped down, cre creating those depressions, which means wooden coffins, age, deterioration from the elements just cause them to cave in on themselves. So the last thing I want to talk about is the fact that this is probably the first cemetery that I have knowledge of that has a gift shop. And it's cool because it's not just a gift shop. As you see in the footage, they have uh, a lot of little uh, plaques and stuff that tell you about the history of Deadwood and its cemetery has old photos of the cemetery back in the day so that was really interesting I actually took photographs of all that stuff so I could read later which is kind of what I do when I go to any kind of like museum or anything like I if there's so much I need to see or if I don't have a whole lot of time I'll just take pictures of all the stuff all the little plaques that give you the information I'll read it later so that I don't waste a whole lot of time or miss out because you know I was reading the whole time that being said, because it was a kind of a gift shop, I uh, because I just wandered around, I, I wasn't on a tour or anything, I bought this book, Mount Moriah, Kill a Man, Start a Cemetery, The Story of Deadwood's Boot Hill by Helen Rosado. Uh, it's 20 bucks in the gift shop. Uh, it's a pretty good sized book. I'm going to read it so that I know everything about that cemetery that can be uh, learned from this book. And I thought that was pretty awesome. I'd never been to a cemetery that had a gift shop. So 
anyway, that was the uh, Mount Moriah Cemetery in Deadwood, South Dakota. I wish I could have stayed a little bit longer, but I was on kind of a time crunch. Uh, but if you're in the area, go check it out. It's really, really nice. That being said, remember, as always, be safe, be respectful, and I'll see you on the next one.